Hi guys, Go Fries here and I am at Aurus and we are going to have a look at their X570 motherboards right now. So the Aurus X570 boards are on display right here at this uh, special event from Aurus. So we're going to start from this side which is the X570 Aurus Extreme. Nice looking boards, two 8-pin connectors, nice pin on the heat sinks, looks like a very strong um, pow power here and from what I saw in the presentation, it looks like a 16 phase power, power design. Same goes to this one over here which is the X570 Aorus Master. Lovely stuff. Um, we, we don't have. I don't have. Um, I don't have full details of uh, this, all these products yet. But you probably get to see on their product page. But this video is just a brief coverage of what is in store now. And this one over here is a X570 Ultra. Yet again, with as you can see, just like with the rest, they are having beefy coolers over the VRM, regardless whether it's SOC or for the CPU, all with fins. Now moving on to this one. This one is of a more simple design. As you can see, um, it has four, and four plus eight pin. The SOC VRM here is cooled by a simple block, while this one has a fin type of uh, cooler. Chokes are visible, and uh, as with the rest, you will see. You will probably have noticed all of them, even with other motherboards, they do come with fans on the South Bridge cooler. Now moving to the next one over here. This is the Aorus Elite. Aorus Elite, Aorus Pro. Very a similar look, I would say so. Um, the, the design of the, the, the SOC VRM is uh, cooler, is a little bit different. Uh, this one has eight, only eight pins, but it's still a rather beefy cooler on the VRM. And uh, in case you want to compare it, it's uh, quite similar, all right? And then over here we have the ITX model, which is, let me bring it up. So have a look over here. So it comes with a IO pl plate at the back pre-installed. At the top here, there's no VRM, uh, VRM heat sink, apparently. Uh, the VRM heat sink is over here. There's a South Bridge cooler with a fan over here. All right, so that's what we have over here. Oops, let me, I just hope that I do not drop the board. And lastly, we have the Gaming X model here. Again, the Gaming X has just a, it's unlike the, 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 the models that we've seen earlier. This one, the Gaming X and this ITX models, both of them have just eight pin, this a eight pin CPU 12V connector. And I don't quite like the design, I must say that. But overall, looks like the best looking ones are over there, which are the higher end models. All right, so that's it for my brief coverage of what's available from Aorus in regards to the AMD X570 chipset motherboards. All right, so that's it from me, Brian from GoFries over here at the Aorus event here at Taipei 101. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Bye-bye.